Hello everyone. Let's talk about this piece called Indigo Moon by Alyssa Milne. Now this is quite a challenging piece from the ABRSM grade 6 syllabus. Uh, as you're learning this piece, please pay attention to the rhythm or rhythms. And I would encourage you to subdivide as you play. Now if you're not familiar with what subdivision is, that's just thinking the smallest unit of the piece as you're playing the piece. And in the case of this piece, Indigo Moon, that is the 16th note or semiquaver. So thinking 16th notes or semiquavers as we play will really help us stay in time and have good rhythm. Now, of course, there's four 16th notes in every beat. So please count in groups of four. Like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You might find that's a little hard to do in the beginning, but what I would encourage you to do is to just play a small section of this piece, counting out loud as you play, and do it very, very slowly. For example, here is line one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Try and do small sections counting out loud in the beginning. You can do one line at a time, one phrase at a time, which is probably better. Um, and then try counting faster and playing faster as we go along. Now, to this included in this video, I have put a play along click track uh, with the quarter note set at 144. Not the quarter note, but the, um, the 16th note is set at 144, which um, is a little bit slower than the marked tempo which should be quite doable. Now, I encourage you to play along with that click track. If you're able to play from the beginning to the end with the click track, you might find it very easy to play the entire piece um, afterwards. So it's a good little exercise to do together. Now, one little thing is at the very end of this piece, at the retardando and the molto retardando, right? Um, it's really, really important you are subdividing even when nothing else is going on, right? That way, when you are slowing down, um, the ritardando makes sense, right? So that, for example, I'll just play, let's see, the last three bars. So, and I'll count out loud. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. That way, as you are counting, the counting is slower, slowing down, even during the long notes. And it makes more sense when you're playing, the, for example, the very last B, B natural um, for the placement, as well as the placement of the second to last measure. Okay? Anyway, good luck learning this piece, and we'll see you in the next video. One. Two, one, two, three, four.
That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please consider clicking on that like button and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching!